get sticky here with uh, the sticky Hot dog! What the hell was that? But anyway, uh... Hot dogs! Well, see, once again, man. But yeah, we're going to go over our uh, podcast here. This Hot dogs! Man, I'm going to have to check that out, ain't we? Let's go check this out. Welcome to the business, man. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. We're a local fresh uh, hot dog cart yeah. operating out of Columbia. We're going to get posted up at Sticky, so if that's all right with you. Absolutely. Always right. looking Fantastic. forward to doing it. Yeah. Did you get this uh, dog? Yeah, absolutely. All please. right. Yeah. We got a quarter pound all beef dogs for you. Let's see if we can get the bun to open. Yeah. A little sticky. A little sticky. <laughs> that's how we like them around here. Absolutely. Oh, that's a big dog. It's a big wiener. You know, I don't hear that often, so I appreciate yeah. you saying yeah. that. Yeah, looks great, man. Appreciate it. Wow, guys, that was crazy, wasn't it? What the right. heck was I don't that? Know. I don't know. That was, that was <laughs> strange as can be. So anyway, guys, uh, welcome to uh, Season 2, Episode 2 of uh, Sticky's Cabanas Podcast. Um, with us today, we have Surviving the Fall. And uh, I'm going to uh, have go around and have you all introduce you all and tell us uh, what you all do with the band. All right. Uh, Peyton, you want to go first? Yeah, well, I'm Peyton. I pretty much just handle merchandising. He's our manager. Guys, all right, yeah, manager, <laughs> roadie. Do all the heavy lifting for him. Pack yeah. mule. Sometimes. Pretty much. Sometimes. Right. Uh, Josh Bailey, uh, vocalist, bassist, guitarist, resident alcoholic. <laughs> I'm Logan Bailey, this dude's brother, and I play drums, and that's pretty much all I do. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Bods, I play guitar and bass. There we go. And as y'all can see, we have Topher with us again. Hi! Before. Yeah. Not yet, but I'm working on it. No, no. <laughs> You're close, close, close. <laughs> we, we shut up on level. <laughs> so, real quick, before we get into everything, too, I just want to reiterate, um, we have a contest running. I'm not going to get into details, but I just wanted to say, if, you want to, if you're interested about it, check uh, episode one. It'll tell you exactly what the uh, what the uh, contest is running for this year. All right, third, yeah, third, third, yeah, third. So, uh, how long y'all been uh, performing together? Um, so we'd been playing together for about seven, eight years. Um, yeah. Different band names, different styles, different lineups, various De lineups. Yeah, yeah, various same lineups. Lineups. Yeah. Same people. <laughs> These three right here. Yeah. Uh, I want to say it was like 14, 15, 2016? Yeah. 2015. 2015. Late yeah. 15, yeah. yeah. I was like 18. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's been a long July time. July is when Logan and I met. Uh, actually, funny story. Logan and I met, he thought I was a rapper, Nick Gamble. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was a whole uh, different Nick. I hit him up because i just seen that he had drums and I was looking for a drummer. And uh, I was like, hey, man, uh, don't know what you're doing. Uh, you want to jam? He's like, yeah, man, I'm really into rap. I'm like, well, that's cool, but I play guitar. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was Nick, a dude that I went to high school with, because I had seen that he had been doing a bunch of stuff for that, and he'd been looking for somebody. And I just put two and two together, I thought. But no, yeah. it equaled one, and yeah. I thought it was two. So it didn't work out. But then, yeah, we literally played together, and it was just... The first time I ever heard him play a riff, they already had a song that they'd been playing. I immediately had something for it, and I was like, I have to sit down. Like, stop playing so I can set my drum set up fast and play this song. Like, I've never had more chemistry Dude, with that was a, great night. A, a drummer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. So what's your all's future uh, look like with everything going on? What you all um, we're pretty optimistic about it right now. Uh, this is the first year we've really been able to book shows in advance. Um, got a lot booked with you, Sticky. <laughs> Got a couple ones that we're kind of talking with Hunter from Life Fun about doing. I don't really want to say anything because it's nothing's finalized, but uh, we're looking to do that. Definitely get in a studio, I think. Yeah, like, we're going to get in the studio. Let's get at least a single going. Uh, yeah. At least get a single to get some music out because we've been together for a long time and never really released anything. So that's like, besides live shows, that's like our, our next big goal. There we get go. something out. And then big breaking news. We're going to break it here. We've decided to break it here. Mm -hmm. We have a YouTube channel. Yes, we do. That we have not promoted yet. It's been out for about a month. We've got yep. about six or seven songs <laughs> on there that we do live. When, and when did it go live? Because I've been looking for video for you guys. Uh, it's just about a month ago. About a month ago. We haven't promoted it. We knew we were going to We were going to perform, so we wanted to drop a big... <laughs> 
bombshell, and we, we kind of told Sticky yeah. that, hey, yeah. we're going to drop something. Uh, it is. Fast. It is. <laughs> all it is is YouTube. It is at Surviving the Fall. No added anything. It's just at our band name, all, yep. all one word. So about I, six or seven live already. songs. Okay, yeah. you've already seen yeah, it? All right. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> at the after party last night, I took over the, uh, the Roku and started <laughs> playing songs from it. <laughs> Plug his own stuff, man. You I just wrote it. the book. You know what I mean? I'm not saying buy it, but here it is. I will I will shamelessly plug anything. Yeah, boys. Well, if the video quality is anything like the video that you all put out for our Battle of the Bands last yes. season. Yes. They're they're not. <laughs> that's they're the not. best one we have. Best one. And the most the views. One, I will yeah. say the yes. most views yes. is the is the stick. That's why I don't know who did one. that one, but it was amazing. That is that why was, that is the first yeah, one yes. on the page that yes. you click on or all yeah. dark. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like great. Yeah. But we wanted to at least have something out. Yeah. So. I hate that that's the one song I dropped a stick on. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even notice you did that no. No, until you told me that. No. And I was like, I seen I watched the whole thing, they got to us at the end, and I was like, Oh no, this is the song where I dropped the stick. I'm like this is the song they recorded yeah of course of course yeah but you oh, can no. guarantee you know that's a musician thing I know, man. as we're all well aware i'm one of those people we once notice I do our once, we notice our yep. faults and shortcomings and mistakes well you came in right back on time though so yeah. i literally didn't even notice it when we did it live and i was worried about fucking up the whole time at the beginning because i forgot to bring my picks i play certain oh, picks jazz yeah, dunlop threes right. that are yeah. carbon fiber with grip that's right and i forgot picks I'd, I'd pack everything. Two half stacks. That's a good drummer not bringing stars. sticks. Yeah. And so I'm going around <laughs> to everybody. Hey, can I borrow a pick? Can I borrow a pick? Can I borrow a pick? And they're all these huge, thick picks. And I can't... My playing is based on these little picks. Yeah. Yeah. Th my pick is like... I don't know if you can see it, but like a quarter of that. Like I literally... Yeah, yeah like, it's a tiny little thing. A little tiny... Because it's so precision and uh, little precise. Little baby. Yep. Little and stiff. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're... That's saying. my motto. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the barbage is ready for this season. Oh, no. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Geez. As if I don't have enough in my pockets at all times anyway. Well, normally I have That's like five or six idea. on me at a time. You didn't get him, you got me. That is a great idea. You, know, get a, you need to get a stick bucket too then. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't now. exclude the drummers. Yeah. You know what I mean? We forget stuff too. Well, we've, we've, got, got, we've got the woods back here. Yeah, let's yeah. go break you off a limb. You get a wave real quick, put it on a wave, man, we'll be all right. He broke like seven sticks of practice a couple weeks ago. Yeah, one practice. I mean, you all saw our redneck kick drum mic. I yeah. love it though. Love yeah. it. I love it. <laughs> I actually had to dismantle that for oh. a show at the end of the season right, last geez. year, but I think just just for nostalgia's sake, Bring I'm going to put it back in the bag. That's what we're talking about. Because yeah. yeah. you can't beat a hunk of two by four. A can of Budweiser, a red solo cup, and an SM57 all taken together. <laughs> you don't know what Where do you go that. wrong? Where do you yeah. go wrong? Well, well it, it's want. like I tell everybody that comes out to the cabana. We do what we can with what we've got. Exactly. Definitely. If we don't have what we need, we will redneck engineer something. We've <laughs> that, done that our whole right. that. Yeah. <laughs> that is literally our band. We, that's, that's what we've done. We do what we Our can dad taught we us got. that. Yeah. yeah. Literally taught us that from day one. Makes sense. This is what you got. What can you make of it? Adapt and overcome. So what's your all's uh, goals for as a band? We've never sat down and said, hey, we're going to have goals. This is what we want to do. Eventually, what we would all like to do, like any musicians, is make enough money at it that we could quit our jobs and live comfortably playing music. That's the yeah. end goal. Yeah. yeah. That's the end that goal. That the end goal. Yes. We never sat down and said, hey, this is going to happen or we're going to hit this 100%. Like, no matter what, and we're going to quit our jobs and make it happen. Right. But we We've just done it as a fun thing, and if something like that happened to happen, we would probably quit and go on tour if we had the Yeah, if no, if we were offered. Yeah, I, yeah. I would second. tell my job tomorrow, I'd be like, yo, we got a four-day tour, and I'm leaving right. here for a little bit. <laughs> Going to Texas, yeah. Bye. No, I think it's, uh, you know, like the like we talked about, the short-term goals, you know, playing as many shows as we can, building a, a fan base and a following, uh, getting more merch out eventually when we're able to, you know, pay for that out of the band fund. We don't like having to take money out of our own mouths, you know, recruit yeah. out of our own mouths to do that. Um, so just like I said that and uh, trying to get in the studio sometime soon but other than that we try not to take it like to the point of obsession yep. just yeah. we've yeah. we don't want to get burned out we've yeah. done that before and that's how we got burned out we kind of yeah. know ourselves now we're older and we don't want to make it work we've always said if it becomes yeah. work then what's the point of even doing yeah. it 
Yeah. You know, we're, we're, if you're not having fun. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's a hobby. You know what I mean? It is. At the end of the day, Pretty much, it's yeah. a hobby. It's, it's, if I ever yeah, lose the joy of together. playing or the nerves right. before a show, I'm done. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Yes. Because I still get those nerves. I've, I've been playing since 13. I could play in front of one person. I'm like, oh. I'm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm like, oh, oh, I'm gonna man. I, I, I think the smaller the crowd, the worse the nerves. No, it is. It really is. Yeah, no. I, I, I'm less nervous when there's a bunch of people because I can just focus on stuff. If there's like like 10 people, now I've got to make eye contact with every single yeah. one and try yeah, well, to get more personal. You know, like Battle of the Bands last year that we did, cool. uh, it was, it was like I said, it was so hot and foggy. It My was glasses so foggy. were fogging up. I couldn't see and anything. And the lights. It was great. It was perfect. I wasn't, I was <laughs> at ease. All I saw was Noah from Lifeline in the front, in the very front, just headbanging <laughs> his ass <laughs> off, just curling hair with his shirt off. He is every the whole time. show. Every he is, show. He, the Lifeline, show, I just want to say real quick that they are, they have always been our biggest supporters. Absolutely. Going back to before, like, Nick was even in the band, you know, like, I, I love those guys and they're like, basically our sister band man. yeah, oh, yeah. they really are those the shows we've played at we've mostly played because they got them for us and we warmed up for them yeah, yeah. exactly they brought Definitely. us they brought us along a yeah, lot and we really we were like the that. little brother band and we just yeah, like, we, can we go too <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, come do half an hour yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> you're the theory of a dead man to their Say mental back. yeah I hope we're a little more talented we got a couple theories but they're not they had to have Chad Kroger write all their lyrics and Zach Wild do all their guitar solos fuck what else? What, what's left? A couple yeah. more pinch harmonics, and you could you could be there. <laughs> right. <laughs> so if you guys were to have to say pick pick a couple or uh, bands, art solo artists, whatever that inspire you all the most, who would it be? Uh, Randy Rhodes, the guitar player, that was uh, started Quiet Riot, and then when yeah. when Ozzy went solo, uh, he's always he's always been that to me. Okay. And that's uh, I don't I don't know why. But just Randy Rhodes. Um, Personally, mine was always, I always modeled my sound after the drummers that I liked. And it was John Bonham and Keith Moon. Yeah. Those were the, I was like, those two styles together will be unstoppable. The rapid just drum rolls every once in a while. And then the following the guitar with the drum yeah. beat. Yeah. That's, I, I, I that, made that that's my style. To a I made yeah. that my style. No, 100%. Um, I don't, it's hard for me to pin in uh, just like on a, off the top of my head, but definitely like Nirvana was a huge gateway to like other alternative music. Cause that's I why up... this dude started playing guitar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, all I knew was power chords. Cause that's all I saw Cobain do, you know, I started and playing drums didn't... before he played guitar and he started playing like these Nirvana riffs and stuff. And I was like, yes. So I would say yeah, I have someone to play with now. <laughs> I would say they were definitely a huge inspiration to me. Tool, uh, another like in my formative years, you know, see their, you know, just like your run of the mill alternative metal bands or rock bands. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, about the same. Really, corn was a big influence when I hit about fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Disturbed, Corn, and Mudvayne. Man, those guys got me. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's That's and and Chester Bennington, Park. Yeah. That thing. That thing. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. I've been waiting for somebody to say that. that. No, that I, dude, love that. Uh, <laughs> I love that. I love that song. Yeah, scream. Oh, yeah, Chester. <laughs> big thing. The longest scream in recorded history. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And it was so doing sometimes. But I forget the song. Yeah, basically the producer told him. Him, go in a closet, scream in the mic for as long as you can hold it. That is insane. And that is now in the Guinness Book of World Records. I did not know That's that. That's awesome. He's he's one yeah. of those people that I remember being like 10 to 12 years old and like the first big album hit of Linkin Park and I was like all the when you got all the little day. like kids in our little That's town true, yeah. dude, were just running around on our bikes man listen to Linkin Park was awesome man you were all awesome angsty and oh man we were oh man no reason I don't have a car yeah it was ridiculous yeah so you guys kind of touched base a little bit on it but what local band or artist would you guys most like to play with the Many Colored Death that's our number one yes that's so. We've always looked up to them. Yeah, We've always the, really liked their music. Love those guys, I remember so. the first time I seen them in a show, I was like, we have to eventually play with them. We went to Don't see care. we went to see Chevelle at the Blue Note. Yes. And what was and it? They like warmed 20, up 14 with them. or 15. Yes. And they warmed up for Chevelle and we got there right at their last song and they blew my socks off. Man. Yeah, I mean, so absolutely good. amazing. Um, it was so good. They're they're definitely a top tier. I would say Dark Below. Dark I know Below, the guys absolutely. a little bit. Absolutely. Um, never got to play with them. I would love to play with Manny Petty again. Oh, that's kind of cheating because we played with them last year. They, but did, they, but they, yeah, they, they were amazing. Their new single, Lover, amazing too. Yeah. Shaman's Shout Harvest. Out. Shaman's Harvest. That's a Harvest. big one. That yeah. would be cool. Yeah. And being another, the, you Conk know, being a uh, Missouri band, that would be cool to yeah. 
Yeah, Kong Cannon, Cannon, we would really like to play Kong with. Cannon. We yeah, they the come PM to the show. show I might have yeah. in for you there. Absolutely. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yes. I know we're another one of their roadies and photographers. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My yeah. God. That would be so cool. <laughs> Shout yeah. out to Dave Barbaric if you're watching, dude. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of. Uh, Please book us. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of more. Obviously, Lifeline. We'll play with them. Lifeline. Yeah, yeah, like, I can't say nothing about uh, Lifeline. Uh, uh, Joker's Wild. Also, oh, Joker's Wild. Joker's Wild. Yeah, Matt Joker's and those guys wild. are unreal. Those guys man. are great. Such good Amazing. dudes. Uh, I feel like I'm definitely leaving some people out. A lot of people. Off the top of my head, those are the ones I can think of. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Also does a lot with Sean. So uh, you guys played at the Cabana last year for Battle of the Band. So what was your all's thoughts on the Cabana? Okay. I love it. <laughs> so, I had a great time. I'd had it's story time. Okay. Yeah, story time. So I'd had many friends mm. and uh friends that are in bands play there, uh go to shows there and I'm getting Snapchats, videos, See, pictures. Facebook videos. Yeah, everything. everything. It was all it was blowing up all over locally. It was really blowing up. Uh not just word of mouth, but through the internet as well. Yeah. Uh and I, I was like, what the fuck is this all about? What the fuck is this all about? And then we got invited to do the Battle of the Bands. And I'm driving down the road, and I'm seeing all these cars, and I'm seeing these these trailers, and all this shit. And I'm like, "What the fuck are we getting into?" Because I'm looking for like a venue or like somebody with somebody yeah, no, that's yeah, yeah that's like, what somebody with like yeah. some rope that's got flags on. It, like, hey, you're gonna park here. This is what your know, bands park here. Other people park here. Like somebody like at like right when you no, nothing. And I'm like, "What the fuck?" And so I see all these cars. I'm like, "Okay, obviously we park here." So I park. And I'm like, what the fuck are we getting into? Like, really just second guessing myself. And I get out of the car and I hear the drums to Ballroom Blitz. Da, 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 right. And just, da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, fuck, are they playing Ballroom? Get up there, it's Manny Petty doing Ballroom Blitz. Amazing. And I see the stage Amazing. and I see everything. And I'm like, I fucking get it. I'm amongst my people. Yes. It was just, just awesome. Yeah, yeah was I, was home. Home. Yeah. I was home. I was home. And it really, I well, thank I, you for that. Yeah, it no, just yeah, 180. Was Literally, um, I, I was nervous as shit. Like going, like God, we grew up we... around stuff like this our entire lives, yeah. and it yeah. felt like home. Well, yeah. As soon as I seen the stage, I seen the people. I met you guys. You guys are like just the, just the, the energy, the spirit, the yeah. vibe. Yeah. It's. It's it's the crowd it's participates, DIY. which is always yes. such a plus. Yes. And another thing, silence. everything about it was positive. No, every, yeah, everything. everything. They everything. give back the gates to the bands. That no one you does get that. paid for no shows. No one does that. <laughs> That's amazing. The more people you bring, the more people you get paid. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, it's I've been there a few times with Lifeline, watching them play just as a fan. And uh, I when Nick and I were walking in together, I saw him like looking around, and I'm like, dude, I know what it looks like. Just trust me. I'm like, we gotta walk through over here by this food truck and run through this fence and over. There. He's like, what you the hell? You came here man? before we played. We showed up with our equipment. Like, what is going? on? I'm like, all right, look, here's we Start gotta go around. Yeah, I'm I'm going like, like, yeah. Let's go. yeah, I've got a car full of two half stacks <laughs> and like three guitars, a bass, my pedal board. I'm like. I feel like I'm about to get fucking robbed or something. Like as soon as I like seen how far away I parked, I was like, I wish I would have brought less drums than I brought. <laughs> <laughs> I brought too many stands. Well, we know now, we know now to get there earlier. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. get there earlier. That's a problem. Always got the dolly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm always make, got the I'm dolly making a wagon. Wagon. I'm, I'm making all yeah. the shirts. If you need to bring your gear in, we've got two two wheelers. I'm making a wagon this year. There you go. We, we, we tend to try, try to tell people too, especially in the big shows, and we're going to have to reiterate this: show up early. Yes, yes show yes, up early. We know that. Yeah. Now. Yes, yes, please. We know that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. A half yeah. hour before yeah. your start time, no, no. ain't going to cut. Well, it. And no, I, I learned young cutting my teeth playing because I started playing guitar at thirteen. Was in bands <laughs> at the. Age we're of 14. all punctual, especially when it comes to a band. We're like, look, we need to be here and do yes. this. And then also, like, if other bands are playing before you get there to support them, Absolutely. out of respect. Right. Yeah. 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 Is I learned, I learned that young cutting my teeth in bands is you get there super early, you help anybody you can do what whatever you can because you're all in it together. Yeah, yeah. We love we're the all same in the trenches. Well, we all have yeah. the same goal. Same. Yeah. yeah, we all have yeah. the same goal. In the and then so. you, when they're playing, you're one of the loudest people there, going yeah, you know. And if you got the money to spare, you buy some merch. Yep. Uh, and yeah, that's, you always pay it forward, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's where we've tried to we've tried to do that as much as we if can. If you're gonna have a local music scene. Local musicians and people who like local music are going to have to support those things. Yes, mm -hmm. that's yes. just all there is. Yeah, that's well, only. Well, if there's a bunch survive. of backstabbing and shit talking behind people's backs, there's no that ain't need work. for any. There's, no, there's, there's no, no need. For that, that none of that no. happens with stickies. That's no, what, no, that's, no, that's not. It's not, it's not gatekeeping. Yeah, everything was. Positive. There's no gatekeeping. So it's great. Everybody's welcome. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 
Like that, it felt yeah. like family. Like yeah, that yeah. you like haven't like visited in a while, and you're like, man, it's a family reunion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, right. you, you get that feel. Well, it's yeah. over, and they're sticking it as the yeah. bitch. Well, they got the, yeah. uh, how's everybody doing? You know what I mean? How's everybody doing, man? It's like it is. It's got something it. for everybody. You know, rock, rap, blues, country. You know, everything. I've seen so many different people show up too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's the cool thing. I see Creeds, people colors, every, every end of the spectrum you could possibly see, and I was like, this is so cool. Yeah. This is the place where all those people come together. And it's have a melting yeah. pot. No, it really is. Yeah. Great. Well, really and is. and that's the thing too is, you know, you guys do a rock show, you never know who's going to show up. Work Jones, absolutely rapper, freestyler. I think that's why the word of and mouth and the internet stuff got around so quickly, especially last year and yeah. blew up. At the Battle of the Bands, Tanner Jones, I used to take guitar yeah. lessons from him. Uh, yeah. Oh, the Comancheros yeah. showed up. Like, literally, I went over, get, you know, we dapped each other up, gave each other a hug. I was yeah. like, you're out here? He said, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he wasn't going to miss me. Upset. Yeah. You know, they're making, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to drop this or not, yeah. you know, they're making a couple grand a show, yeah. and they came to watch the Battle of the Bands. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, that's really that's cool. That's a huge deal, man. Yeah, that's that's, that's really cool. You know, I mean, Local that's cool. support, man. No, that's Local that's support. awesome, man. But well, that's our philosophy that we discussed yeah. way back in the beginning is we don't care. Music has no genre in our No, eyes. exactly. That's the truth. It transcends everything. Yeah. yeah. You do you with respect. Yeah. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yep. Teach their own, man. Yep. And you know, respect. We don't person. care what you do. Yep. We don't care who you are. We don't care... We don't care. I love it. <laughs> do what you do with respect. The world right. would be a lot better place if we all went by that. If Amen. we all. And it's very evident this year with what we've, oh. what we've booked. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've booked some uh, interesting shows this year. Some very, uh, we booked very quickly this year, y'all. Yeah. 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 No, and we're glad we got spots quickly. we were we were able to, man. I'm excited uh, to come see stuff we're not doing shows at, Yeah. Too. No, that's, that's another part of it. Yeah. 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 We've already told Minbo Joe we're coming to his show. Yeah, no, uh, we're going to be there. We're going to be there in full he, force. Twice. He's got. He's yeah, got we're going to. We're going to be at one of them. The first yeah. one. Yeah, I think the first one is yeah, what we're going to. Yeah, we told him we'd come out in full force and support him and his guys. Shout yeah. out to Minbo Joe. Yeah. He's always been, yeah. Yeah. always been great to us. Always been great to us. We appreciate it, a ton man. of our merch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, the, the show we did with him, he bought a hundred right bucks worth yeah. of t-shirts. He holds the biggest yeah. sale right now. Yeah, he holds no, the biggest sale. He holds the record right <laughs> for the biggest well, sale. They got a whole tour on March. It's amazing. He's been he's been just a class act to us, and we can't say enough great things about Minbo Joe. Shout out to Minbo Joe. Great dude. That's the thing about the local scene is with everybody. Holding everybody else up, Support. you can't. Yeah, you can't help but rise above. Right. Yeah. Yep. Right. United With we stand, and like divided that. we fall. Amen. That's, That's just right. how it, it goes. It, yeah. Well, we're we're all in it together. It's the local. We want it to get big. It's a local <laughs> scene. We. Yeah. The only way it's going to get bigger is if we all help each other out. If we're all battling to be number one and stabbing each other and in the back, fighting to the top. There's yeah. No, there's, there's, there's there's no room. No one gains from that. There's Nobody no gains. We're going to lose people. Yeah. yeah exactly. But if you are curious about the lineup and the artists yes. playing out at the Cabana this season, check us out on Facebook. We just posted last this past week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, when this gets posted, it'll be two weeks ago. Uh, not the dates, because we're not going to do that. But all the artists that are playing out, well, not all of them, but a Most good majority yeah. of the artists are listed on our Facebook page. Yeah, I did a little shout out and then one yeah. call. You guys you name know. dropped everybody. Yeah. yeah. I, was like, what? I was scrolling for days on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and what it's I did, awesome. me, me being me, uh, this goes to Most left of you tagged on their e actual page. Every, yeah, mm -hmm. everyone who had a tag, I clicked on it and yeah. liked their Facebook yeah. page. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Gave them a like. Yep. There we go. If I could tag them, I did. If I could tag them, I did. That support, man. It's that simple. Yes. That goes a long yeah. way for a lot of people. I do yeah. want to say sure one does. show that's on there that I'm really proud that we got. Um, so early April, um, we've got Trizzy Fest coming out. It's a hip-hop show. Okay. The last three years in a row, Blue Note and Rose Hall have had it. We've got it this year. Yeah. Man, nice. congratulations. That, that's really man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Congratulations. Honestly, Honestly that really shows cool. the swing that you guys are getting. Yeah. People are tired of those places because of they the other run. And because of the people you well, have to interact with. It's gatekeeping. With. It's and you not, have to kiss ass. It's not there's, family like it is here. There's yeah. almost You're a monopoly gonna, in a lot of ways. Yeah, it really oh, is. Absolutely. On yeah. things that go absolutely. on outside. And of I like both those venues. I'm not going to say anything oh, bad yeah. about the venues, but my God, this is the place. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> we appreciate it. Full-throated endorsements is, all the way yeah. around. Yeah. 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 And you can catch us April 1st at the first show of the year. No joke, April 1st. April Fool's 
Yeah. Can't and these it. lovely gentlemen will be there. <laughs> We're gonna He's going to be there. He's headlining the show that day. Um, we've got, uh, who else Who else is playing with y'all that day? Uh, Mad Existence. Mad Existence. Yeah, yeah. Mad Existence. Oh, yeah, it is Mad Existence. Oh, cool. they, I think oh, I yeah. saw them with Lifeline last yeah. year. They did a yeah. show uh, and they killed it. They yeah. Were they the ones that, they lost their drummer. Was it their he drummer had, that he went? Had COVID. Yeah, yeah, he had, yeah, yeah, he had COVID. Went yeah. down right before the show, so they did yeah. an acoustic thing. Yeah, and they blew it out of the water yeah. on short notice. Yeah, I can't wait to great. see them at full force. This yeah, yes, no, I'm awesome. very excited. And we for also that. have a uh, uh, food vendor coming out that day too. The old neighborhood cafe is coming out. I've awesome. seen that one that, on there. And yep. see, that's awesome. another great thing. Is, they make all kinds of stuff on their menu yeah. too. It looked like yeah. tacos, burgers, yeah. all kinds of stuff. It's another great thing. Is especially with the recession going on right now. It's five dollars for a show. You pay five dollars. to come to the show you're gonna see you know three to five if not more bands you know it all depends on what's going on yeah and then the food at the vendors and the the drinks at the vendors is reasonable yeah you know no, soda yeah. water is so reasonable, reasonable. large portions. reasonable <laughs> yeah, very large, large portions. portions i know that it, it's me. not gonna cost <laughs> it's not gonna cost you you know 30 bucks for a ticket no. and then your your drinks or food if you're hungry or thirsty is gonna be ten dollars for a drink whether it be you know a bottle right. of water for six so bucks or whatever, either, you can either spend five hundred dollars a ticket to see Taylor Swift, or for five hundred dollars <laughs> every weekend for the rest of the summer to see a slew of great bands and artists. Yeah. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't have to want. deal with Ticketmaster. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 No yeah. hidden fees here. Guys. Yeah, there's no hidden fees. There's five dollars all you pay. Yeah. And hey. unlike other vendors, yes, we our just... venues in the Columbia area, we accept cash. Yeah, huge. we're yeah, not huge. card only. I hate running into that. They do I take card though. I don't like using my card. It's card. an option, but it's not card only. Yeah, yes. but cash yeah. is king. Cash and we always king. tell everybody too. Uh, you may have never heard of any of these bands that are, are performing, but you'll leave liking at least something that they perform. Yes. Yeah. It's like yeah. a fast food restaurant. Yeah. Everyone's got something on the menu I like. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That they do. And again, they give ninety percent of the gate back to the talent. Huge. That is a this huge. huge. I can't tell huge. you. How much in life, I, like I said again, I started playing at 13, was in bands at the age of 14. To do it for, you know, handshakes or sell some merch, if you're able to have merch, you know, we I played for nothing, many shows for many years. Yeah. So to get at least the gas money to get yeah. there, huge, huge, that's yeah. massive. Stickies, especially right. Stickies was our first paid show. Yes. From the gate. Yeah. Not, yeah. not counting yeah. merch. I mean, we've gotten sales off merch, but we've never been mm -hmm. paid just for playing before. And you'll sell merch there, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I guarantee you that. Yeah. Yeah. You really will. We, we did. Because we I'll buy it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll buy, we'll yeah. Buy all yeah. Of your merch. <laughs> I try to grab somebody we'll else's merch we'll every merch show I go to, yeah. straight up. Yeah. Well, that was one of the things that the ownership agreed upon way at the beginning, mm -hmm. three years ago, mm -hmm. was we are not going to be a pay to play venue. No, that, that's you guys no, are giving freedom back to bands. Yeah, we really are. It's yeah. hard. We that, can't, we can barely afford the equipment because it's expensive. It's, yeah. it's expensive to be a band to play. <laughs> not, <laughs> not only do you have to have at least halfway nice gear, then if you're at a place that doesn't have a PA, you have to buy a PA. And, they, and that's and expensive. That no, that's that's if you buy the stuff that's going to sound good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yes, we did. That you, yeah, yeah. No, so, that's what I mean. Yeah, and you it, guys do. It's so it's sticky. You've got the P, the PA's by. there, the sound Absolutely. guys are there. You're gonna get paid. It's yeah, you're gonna like, sound good. You're gonna sound yes. good. Thank if, you. if you if you're a fan, you know, and I, I'll I'll pay you even if I'm playing. I want to see the other bands. I'll give Absolutely. five dollars. I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Fixing the rant mode now. <laughs> yeah, I get an open I'm mode. hung over and on one. Uh, Jim. I can't even remember what I was going with it now. Jim Cornette over oh, here. Oh, the, the pros and cons. <laughs> even if you're a fan of it, you know, there's everything there. And we have you lights. You can't beat that. We have some lights. We always tell people if they want to bring something of their own with lights, by all means, bring it. But right. We have some. Right. We, we yeah, have no, some. How do you feel about fireworks? Well, yeah, we have fireworks. <laughs> funny, funny you say that. Um, we fireworks are doing a 4th of July show this year. Well, so do you uh, do you have a uh, a fireworks people that you like a, like a pyrotechnic? No, like, like uh, who are you uh, buying from? Because I have a friend that oh. has in bulk. So no, not yet. We don't. I'll be looking. Do you so, want me to yeah. give you that contact? Yeah, hold right, yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll hook you. Yeah, I'll Rob, be looking. Robbie will take care of you. Okay. Yeah, we'll be looking for sure. Uh, we've got a July first show uh, this year, which after is our Fourth of July show. We'll be right. playing that too, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey, yeah. USA, 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 USA. Hey, back to back yeah. World War champs. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are actually playing that one too. Yeah, yeah. We're going with uh, Grimstalker. Grimstalker. Yep. Grimstalker. Grimstalker. That is a, yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a yeah. cool band name. If you don't know Grimstalker, go check Grimstalker because yeah. after this, I will be. Yeah, no. yeah <laughs> they are out of uh, Kansas. 
Nice. Really? Yeah, that's a long haul, yeah. man. That's a that's right. Oh, dude, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Well, this hopefully season... they're headlining then. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but this season we've got them coming from all over. We've got what? Michigan, Kansas, Colorado, Colorado, Texas, Illinois, Illinois. Everybody's flying I mean, the stickies, man. Yeah, everybody. This is we're just we're going the nationwide area, dude. a little Definitely. DIY venue, yeah. and. You guys love people. How, how did we get this? This is a six, 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 T Swizzle. Yeah, right. yeah Logan's right. a big Taylor Swift fan. Not unironically a big Taylor Swift fan. I can sing almost I'm everything sorry. from the first two albums. Uh, one thing that normally surprises people when I get to talking to them, I'm like, don't be like that, Toe. <laughs> <laughs> we go way back like four flats on a Cadillac. Come on now. Uh, I, I'm really big into uh, like jazz and blues like Nat King Cole, Ella Fitzgerald, Duke Ellington, Dizzy Gillespie, Albert King. Um, you know, all those guys. Yeah, you really memorize that Wikipedia Retro. page. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Retro New Wave, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. That. Yeah. Like, like the, the Midnight, got, yeah, kind Time of Cop. Stuff. Yeah. I love that stuff. Um, I'm, in, I'm really into uh, early uh, 90s, like, East Coast rap. Yeah. Like Nas and... and uh, <laughs> Wu-Tang, Wu-Han. <laughs> <laughs> Wu-Tang Clan and... Uh, in Wu-Han ain't nothing to fuck uh, with. <laughs> I mean, I get into a lot of classical stuff, and anybody that can play a cello, man, like the Cello Brothers uh, and Yo Yo Ma. Yeah. I always get into that stuff. Yeah. Get into that that surprises me. I've never heard that. Yeah, 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 that's pretty cool. Yeah, about anything kind of punky or I'm learning, pirate I'm, stuff. I'm, I'm learning stuff about you just doing this interview. <laughs> 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 I've known you for years. I didn't know you like cello. Yeah, we're best friends. Yeah. Cello. You got a bass. <laughs> I think I need to practice a little bit more with it, but I'm learning. Stand, stand it up. You'll learn. He said Yo Yo Ma's. All I thought about is uh, School of Rock, where he's like, and I lost the audition. Yo Yo Ma's cousin, Lil Nepotin. <laughs> and that's how I started teaching. <laughs> so, with that, also kind of going in there, what's your all's uh, favorite band or artist of the last three years? Ooh. Uh, yeah, three years. Really, the only relevant one that I listen to is probably The Midnight because yeah. they're coming out with music right now. And I yeah, listen to stuff that came out last time. month. Like, uh, yeah. I'm going to go see there. I'm going to go shameless yes, plug. See there. Uh, Lifeline's new album's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, that's, 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 that's awesome. Awesome. Lifeline. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're releasing they're singles doing a lot of great right stuff. now. Yeah. And then Manny Petty has a single out. Lover. Lover. That slaps. I love, I love me some Lover. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, I'd say Seether. Seether never misses it. Seether, never, man. Seether, I, man. I love everything that they One do. One of my biggest influences probably, too. Yeah. Um, Ozzy's new album was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm glad he did something with Jeff Beck because Jeff Beck just passed away. Yeah. R.I.P. Jeff Beck. Man. Yeah. Legend, man. Yeah. That's, that was really. Sure. I forgot he played with his fingers. Like, to do that and then hit the oh, whammy. Yeah. Watching, like, watching videos of him is insane. I did, like, when he passed away for three hours, I watched it. Alyssa got bored as shit and started just watching <laughs> stuff on her phone. But I was mesmerized just watching his. I didn't even watch the neck. I just watched his hands playing with his fingers. And he, he'd play with this and then use a pinky for his whammy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He always had the Ella DeGeneres spike haircut. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love it, man. Outside of the local scene, I don't really listen to much newer stuff anymore. Uh, I mean, Spotify, but, you know, most of the stuff that pops up on my feed is like 20 years old or more, yeah. you know, so it's it's hard for me to, like, think off the top of my head. Anything new I listen to is rap, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Besides, besides local rock bands. Yeah, there's, oh, yeah, there's just not a lot in the mainstream yeah, rock. The like, year, Seether, of course, but that's your, you know, your Seethers, your Foo Fighters, they all, they're going to release great albums. You know, yeah, yeah, always. Yeah, that stuff, but, yeah. but, the new stuff I listen to is either some rap or lo mostly local, local artists. Yeah, I try to find a lot of local and give yeah. as much as I can. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. And Other now, sponsor? a word from our sponsor. Show Me Guitars is your only full-service, locally-owned music shop with a full retail showroom offering all the top-name brands for guitar, bass, and amplification. They offer the highest quality instruments with the lowest possible pricing. And don't forget, Show Me Guitars also has your favorite accessories and add-ons, including an entire effects pedal section. Not interested in new? Not a problem. Show Me Guitars has plenty of used items to choose from. They are also happy to take your old trade in to get you into something new. And here's the kicker. Show Me Guitars has a Fender certified repair shop for guitars and amplifiers. With over 20 years of experience, 
Show Me Guitars is here to help. Call them at 573-442-9141 or stop by at 3906 Peachtree Drive in Columbia, Missouri, 65203 on the south side. So I uh, want to ask y'all what your all's favorite uh, uh, conspiracy theory cryptid is. Well, right. I'm one of those people that could talk about that stuff all day long. So if you ever want to have a conversation, come at me with some alcohol and, <laughs> yeah. and some time and He'll an open, open mind, up. and we can talk for hours about that stuff. But I'm yeah. just going to say aliens. Yeah, yeah. aliens exist. No, they, they release all that shit. That shit's <laughs> yeah. They just won't uh, fuck with us. That yeah. was anything you've seen was a demonstration. Yes. Of something that's ours. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to reach into that no more. more. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling no, because mine's not popular. So okay, <sighs> birds don't root. Really. Cut it out. If, <laughs> if, 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 cut it out if it gets too deep. 9/11 was an inside job. Hell two, yes. Two fucking reasons. I'll just give you two because I won't go super long. There's just one, billions. One, one. The where the Pentagon was fucking hit is where they were doing the audit for the missing 2.4 trillion dollars that Donald Rumsfeld, all rummy as fucking George Bush called him. Was, you know, he was in charge of it. He was like, hey, where'd this fucking go? And he's like, mm, mm, I don't know where it is. Oh, just 2.4 million went missing. And then on the thing about the fucking that towers, the jet fuel doesn't burn that hot to burn the fucking metal of the structure of the buildings. Yep. Those are just two right there. And it doesn't burn in that color. Yeah. Exactly. Anytime you see a building of that stature fall where something hits on the top of it, it falls over. It doesn't collapse in on itself perfectly like a demolition. Mm -hmm. Those were set charges. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can. You can you, see it. Hey, I was in school that day when it happened. I'm yeah. sure the Sorry. Um, getting, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna lighten it up. I guess. I guess this is lighter. Uh, Paul is dead. Is my favorite. I'm not a big conspiracy theory guy. And I don't necessarily believe it, but I, I love how uh, almost absurd it is. The lengths that people have gone to try to prove that that's not the real Paul McCartney. Oh yeah. It's, yeah, it's not only a body double. It's a sound alike. It's a dude that has his like songwriting ability and style and flavor. Like my I favorite just, thing about that is like the the clues that was given the album. Yes. No. That and the that's clues. the most mysterious part you know what i mean and it's like i've, I've looked a lot into it and it's just kind of crazy i'm not a big conspiracy or maybe theory. they just formed that whole conspiracy to keep themselves more popular and in the more light. relevant yep. yeah 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 there you go a pr move yeah peyton you said you didn't want to get in on this no, I'm with them on this one. All right. My brain goes into a weird spot fan. for a while. Oh, I've been down, down that rabbit hole. Oh, I'm huge into that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bigfoot, especially, yeah. Bigfoot is my big one. I swear I saw him when I was 14. And I've seen I some weird stuff. Once down. you have an experience, yeah. see, I never cared about anything yeah. until I personally had an experience. I always like had the, because my dad watched sci-fi and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't care, dad. Like, even if something like that's real, it's never affected my life. And until it did. Yeah. That's when I got yeah. interested and started looking at things. And I'm like, mm -hmm. what happened? Like, what went on? What did I see? What did I feel? You know what I mean? And when you start opening up that book, man, it's hard to close. It's hard to close. Yeah. That's that's absolutely true. I've yeah. gone down some rabbit holes <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> so we got another question here to make you all think. All right. How come you can buy 100 fish sticks at a time, but you cannot buy 100 mozzarella sticks in one package? Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not even high and that fucked me up. Uh, I don't know, man. Peyton's I mean, down there like, damn, I, I don't hadn't know, thought of that before. Wait, who sells a hundred fish sticks at a sticks, time? Though, you be there. That's more than Sam. You can yeah. buy, you can yeah, buy, yeah, you can buy a hundred, hundred fish sticks in a big bag. Or Costco. But you can't buy a hundred at a time <laughs> yeah, of mozzarella, mozzarella sticks. sticks. Why? Hmm. I mean, you know, I'm not going to give it all to the Walton family. Let's go. They got yeah. enough. Exactly. Yeah, they got enough. They're fine. They're good. They just, I don't know. They just man. bought the Broncos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, uh, yeah. Who knows? Uh. <laughs> who knows? They also just flushed two hundred and thirty million dollars down the drain with Russell Wilson. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they they <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. Not even gonna get started on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, to kind of round this out, uh, what do y'all have in store for 2023? Um, our plan is to really hit it hard to play shows. That's um, kind of what we, we have, all got together and said. We have a lot of shows booked with you guys. Mm -hmm. We didn't really know what we could divulge. I don't. To be honest, we have so many booked with you, I don't even know off the top of my head the dates. I know April 1st, July 1st. We talked about that earlier. Yeah, we got the August show. August 4th for Hunter's birthday. Battle of the Bands. Battle of the Bands, right. September October, 2nd. the Halloween yeah. show. Yeah. So it's... Yep. April 1st, June 3rd, June 3rd July 1st, August 4th, 
September 2nd and October 28th. Fucking okay, encyclopedia. Yeah, the Halloween here. show, too. Yeah, the Halloween show. And Halloween. this is a couple of other ones. Right? We're talking about possibly doing something else. Those are the ones. Those are the dates that we have confirmed. Again, we got some stuff working. Maybe a show in St. Charles, maybe one in St. Joe, but we still got to get with Hunter about that. He's the one setting that up for us. So once we get that, that'll be on our social media pages. And we're going into the Definitely. studio to record some singles, trying to really want to be on like Spotify and get out there and get the our platforms. music out. All the yeah. platforms. All the platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Spotify, to get our music Apple out there. Music. Yeah, I mean, you name yes, it. It's got a lot of work. It. It it does. Does. Yeah, it, it does. does, but we're, we're ready for it. Oh, yeah, definitely. The good thing about this, uh, this show that we're doing right now, uh, it's on Spotify. It's on oh, uh, right. Pandora yes. Music. It's on Google, uh, Google Music, I do believe. Um, it's on, uh, what else? Anchor. Uh, YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, you guys covered yeah, everything. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Amazon awesome. Well. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. We don't yeah. go yeah. down. We try and get everybody out there. Right, like cast a wide net. That's man. awesome. Yeah, that's no, I, yeah, absolutely. You don't catch anything if you don't go wide. No, right? exactly. That, that Halloween show you guys are playing at the Cabana will be a uh, costume party as well. It is a costume. Yes. Go go Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. Oh hell. <laughs> yeah. I've been really doing it. I'm doing it. I don't I care do what you guys do. I'm too fat to. Come on, let's be Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, Wait, no, it's gonna be Zach Galifianakis from the Hangover. Yeah, no. let's be Power Rangers, man. Come on. Okay. Right, we could be Power Rangers. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> you guys' body types fit it. You ever seen a fat Power Ranger? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you ever seen two fat Power Rangers? You gotta sit down for a while. Power Rangers. look more like Ninja Turtles than Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Ninja Turtles. We can have two birds and two. Two v two. I called Donatello. Yeah. Uh, so to kind of finish this out, uh, contact information for you all, how everybody can get a hold of y'all, yes. shout outs, anything? Absolutely. So uh, get, I'll get the uh, contact info out because I memorized this right mm -hmm. before we came on. Uh, again, our YouTube page is just at Surviving the Fall. Uh, our Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Surviving the Fall Band. And to get a hold of us via email for bookings or just any general things is uh, is uh, surviving the fall band at gmail .com. Which has our uh, some personal numbers, which I believe mine, maybe yours. Is yes, uh, yeah, that? we have a couple of personal numbers I think linked to the Facebook page. So if you'd rather which do it by phone number or get a hold of us on Facebook update. or whatever, we have a lot of ways to get a hold of us. Yeah, we don't have an Instagram or a TikTok yet. Don't know if we well, yeah. don't really know, but <laughs> I know how to get a hold of y'all. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 You got to find us. You got to hold the yeah. sticky. And on our YouTube page, like, right. share, subscribe, hit the bell for all the notifications. I'm going to say that. Yeah. And I'm a real YouTuber. Uh, yeah. Shout outs. I'm a YouTuber. Obviously, Sticky. Oh, that's so for, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the whole fucking crew. Thank you guys for doing this. Everybody, everybody who's ever awesome. helped everybody. us Thank out you or guys. said anything. Um, our parents. Our, our parents, parents. I mean, they've supported us our whole life. They've always had a garage full of equipment that we played early on. I mean, they did. Yeah, Wyatt. Me. Obviously, Wyatt. Oh, yeah. Wyatt. Wyatt. Missy Wyatt. We should be a father You're my boy, Wyatt. He's going to be a father soon. He's taking some time away from the Band right now, but he's here with us in spirit. He really wanted to be here. He just yeah. couldn't make it work with his work schedule. Yeah. Wyatt, we love you. Um, anybody else? Lifeline, man. Lifeline. Maybe Lifeline. 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 shouts out. Yeah. Uh, oh, man, right. Can't can't say enough God, good things yeah. about them, man. Awesome people. Uh, fucking, I don't know. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my mom. Uh, she's done everything for me. You know, helped buy my first guitar. Been at every show she can make. Uh, it wouldn't be possible without her. Big shout out for me is to my wife and my daughter for putting up with my bullshit and letting me having fun and doing all this. <laughs> I love you guys. Couldn't do it without you. Yeah. Do we want to do the merch? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Most of yeah. we're gonna have we some merch shirt. as well. Uh, this is one of the ones we have. This is a simple base thing. I hand make these myself. Yep. All Peyton Davis. It's tedious, but you know, sometimes you process. Miss, sometimes you misspell. Uh, this might be one of our new ones that come up. Possible new design, uh -huh. maybe different colors, uh, and then we'll have some stickers, roughly around the same design. We're, we're trying to get rid of these. We're trying to get rid of oh, these yeah. first run of handmade shirts so that we can afford to get new designs in. So if you guys come to our shows, we'll sell those little little out. Yeah. So those will be limited. We have a couple more of those to yep. get rid of. Yep. Get them all you um, can. The plain okay. stickers, definitely. <laughs> a couple <laughs> pins. There's some, there's some pins. Yeah, there's some little buttons. Stuff. Bag of yep, shit. little buttons. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm going to branch into a couple more things. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're always looking at merch. I really want to do hats because I wear right, hats all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, you guys, yeah, I definitely appreciate y'all coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Thanks, so guys. Guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Cheers. There you go. Salud. There Appreciate you go. it. To Sticky's Cabana. To Sticky's Cabana. So uh, fuck, I'm hungover. <laughs> so guys, Sean uh, will get you there though. Yeah, shine on, baby. Shana. Hey, that's Soul Shine. <laughs> oh man.
So guys, uh, look for uh, this this episode here. Y'all just watched uh, Surviving the Fall. Um, want to tell y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Well, it's better than love. I'm from the Lord up above. And I